So it's the Goffs Grade 1 bumper, our last race from Leopardstown, my last race of the day, obviously over two miles. So an idiot abroad for Alex Cherry, big star for Hollywood Hinton looking for a three-timer, Holland for Matt Cooper, David Hooley's in the fast lane, Landmine for Stu Gray, Joshua Sutherland losing the world, Darren Thompson's Punto Sound, Dramatised for Paul Rhodes, Clutterbuck's Good Time Girl, Leon Van Rensburg's at Mini Fortune Time, and Paul Rhodes's Quadrant. Make up 11. Over two miles, the bumper, they're racing. It's a great one, bumper. And as they settle down, it's going to be Holland. It's going to bobble off up in front and take a three length advantage inside the first couple of furlongs. So it's Holland from in the fast lane, losing the wheel, dramatised big star, and then the length back to land, mine, quadrant, an idiot, an idiot abroad. Mini fortune time, Punto sound and good time girl. But Holland's going to lead them past the winning post. That full circuit to go. Start the left turn very shortly. And tag over a bit closer to the rail, I'm sure, as he does. It is Holland that leads us. Matt Cooper leads by about four or five from losing the world. Big star dramatised in the fast lane together. And then India and a broad and landmine and quadrant. And Punto Sound and Mini Fortune Time and Good Time Girl. That's the field. So take the sharp left hurdle course, but it's Holland that leads us from Matt Cooper by about five to lose in the wheel. Big star in the fast lane, and dramatised an idiot, a ball got closer now, quadrant and lad mine, and just three at the rear, mini fortune time, Punto San, a good time girl, but nobody's out of this as they come down to the mile, so it's Holland. Still leads from in the fast lane in second, then big star and losing the wheel. Dramatised and quadrant, and an idiot of broad landmine a little bit wider, widest of always Punto Sound, and then just at the rear mini fortune time, time, and good time girl. I suppose that'll go with the dodgy mistress, but it's Holland, still leads, off the bridle now, starts to quicken the pace as we come down to the five furlongs from home losing the wheel that's ominously moving closer well, on the outside of that is in the fast lane and big star dramatised a couple back to quadrant and an idiot abroad but Holland heads for home again as we come down to the final half mile as they're coming round this bend to line up for the judge so it's Holland leads by a couple still from in the fast lane losing the wheel and big star dramatised and quadrant mini fortune time trying to make up ground and idiot abroad I think you could probably ride off the rest as we come down inside the three now and it's Holland still leads by three to big star losing the wheel in the fast lane and dramatised moving well up on the outside is quadrant and mini fortune time but it's Holland going to get pressed now by big star and it's big star that takes it up for Del Hinton from in the fast lane and moves into second, dramatises his third, Quadrant is fourth, running on still well, he's losing the wheel on good time, girl, but Big Star now being taken by in the fast lane. Inside the final half of Furlong is in the fast lane from dramatised and Quadrant in the fast lane. David Hood is going to take the last here at Leopardstown, just from dramatised and in the fast lane. Takes it, wins the Goffs grade one bumper. Comfortably in the end, from dramatised in second, Quadrant was third. Josh Sutherland's, I'm not sure who that was, losing the wheel was fourth and Punto Sound was fifth. Well, that's my lot for the day. I'll speak to you tomorrow and I'll hand you over to either the Liederman Clutterbuck comms.